he's got it in him. And his love, a many splintered thing. Your place. Alan Davis stars in a new series. Your place. Starting Tuesday the 27th of June on BBC One. Another piece of groundbreaking cinema now on BBC Two. This one's a hugely acclaimed thriller with strong language. Tonight on Movie Drone, one of the most moving sex scenes in cinema and one of the scariest endings. It can only be Nick Rogue's Don't Look Now. now has a really gothic story. A daughter dies, is drowned. Her parents' life is shattered because of that drowning. They go to Venice and are haunted by the memories of her death. The film was based on a short story by Daphne du Maurier. In the short story, the girl dies of meningitis and the story doesn't really start until after that death and the parents are in Venice grieving. So there's a kind of retrospective feel about it. The short story is more a scare fest. It's intended to spook you. The film is intended to do that, but it's also to do with romantic love, about the possibility of love, about your fear of your loved one dying. It's a kind of richer experience, the film. It's directed by that old favourite of movie drone, Nick Rogue. Uh, this was his third film. Previously, he had made Walkabout and Performance, and many people think it's his best. If you know any other Nick Rogue films, you'll spot that this is one of his immediately. It's because the time is fractured in the film. Nick Rogue famously was entranced by the way that editing could change time forward and backwards, and so he does it here. His main character is psychic in some way, can see the future, but it's like the film can see the future as well. It flashes forward to what's going to happen. This is very Nick Rogue-ian. <laughs> This film starts in a grand country house in a grand estate. It's a quintessentially upper middle class setting. And Rogue, who comes from a middle class background himself, seems absolutely obsessed by the idea that middle class culture represses things, represses the truth about what it's like to be alive, the agony, the fear of death, all these things. And he seems to plant a bomb under those kind of themes and explode them. And that's why his films are so exciting. The husband in the picture, John Baxter, is played by Donald Sutherland, a Canadian actor who was a political radical in the 60s, and he was in MASH in 1968. The wife is brilliantly, erotically played by Julie Christie, who had worked three times before with Nick Rogue on Fahrenheit 451, on Julia, and in Far From the Madding Crowd. She always seemed to choose brilliant directors throughout the 60s and the 70s. We really believe that these two characters are married. We really believe that they're in love. And somehow we feel as if we see their relationship over time. I think that's partly because of the famous sex scene where Rogue intercuts them making love with getting dressed afterwards. And it's absolutely emotional. It's partly the music and it's just partly the intensity of that sex scene. Now there were rumours going around that they did it for real and the outtakes were doing the rounds of the studios in Hollywood, the secret screening rooms, but Nick Rogue said that only nine frames of that scene were cut from the final film. Don't Look Now was voted the eighth best British film of all time. Um, and it's simply, I think, because it's so dazzlingly, brilliantly made. It was released at the same time as The Exorcist, and you could argue that it's more layered and more brilliant and more unusual than The Exorcist. I think this is a really brilliant movie drone picture because it's absolutely honest about fear. It's absolutely honest also about the way your life can be broken up by a tragic event, and it's dazzlingly inventive cinematically. <laughs>